Hello everyone, Naznogami here. Welcome back. Let's play Dot Flow. We last left off. We got several effects already. We're off to a good start. We've seen some creepy areas like hell, that prison. Areas covered in vines. We're in the hub world, but as you can see, it's different. I don't know if it's random or if it depends on the effects you collect. I'm leaning more towards random. Haven't been to the right. This is very reminiscent of that other neon place from Yume Nikki. You're not an effect I can collect. This is also like the, uh, the room of Yumi Nikki with all the tiles that make different noises. I can go that way, but I know there's, there's an effect here. Not that one. But this one is pretty nice. Compared to everything else. I mean, yeah, we did see the, the ocean world. Snow world. No way to get in there. Ooh, I bet that's a gateway to somewhere else. Dot flow, but a few bits and pieces stick out, like like the cat effect. I remember the cat effect. Do I have to go through here? Oh wait, I think I remember something. That. Speaking of cat effect... Me, 
man, I remember. I was pretty sure the cat effect would allow you to go through, uh, like these little areas, but. It's not. Or, or maybe that little black square is like part of the design. And I thought it looked like a door. Aha! I don't want to be here. Thought I beat this guy. Wait, no. No, it's not him. The guy I'm looking for is different. Might as well wander around as a cat a bit, just to change things up. Ah, there! Headphones! Nice if there was an effect that could change the background music. I mean, we had an effect in Yume Nikki that would change, uh, uh, the, like the, the overall, uh, hue, tone, coloring. I was just thinking it'd be nice if there was an effect that would just change the music. Like, play something really techno or trance. I want to go back this way. Since it's an area you can only get to by effect. Also, just like the docks from Yume Nikki, except... I guess I would call this more polluted I mean the wire is kind of brownish and the railing is well, rusted I guess old would be a better term older abandoned sinister NPC or two NPCs. Can't tell if that little T-shaped thing is uh, his mouth or a tie. 
But he has weird eyes. his mouth. I try to use the pipe and he just laughs. But we have a menu type. A little unlockable there. again. Also got recurring characters here in Dot Flow. I can't remember any, if there were any recurring characters in Yume Nikki, but... ones in this game. Some we're gonna see more than once. shift. That was freaky, and it looked like that student that was there look, looked like Sabitsky. And there are all these creepy drawings of mouths. So this is just... Each floor is a loop. And everything's gone quiet.
we can't enter here and the effect we were wearing disappeared. He can't get through the door for some reason. is just dreadful. I mean, you got brown walls. The droning music. The, the mouths. And the eyes. And it's him again. The hammer or... blood on it. Um, you're blocking the way. Can I destroy you? Nah, I can't hit you. Yeah, just cause I'm a ghost does not mean I can phase through things. I can only hide. And of course then there are all these kids with white hair. Bloody faces. Tattoo. Nothing happens when I press shift and I have his eyes. He has tattoos over his eyes. I think they're just more like face paint, I would guess. Hoping. It just makes you look creepy. Like, like the button eyes from Coraline. I'm still walking around with them on. Well, let's go get lost again. Apparently, that's what I do best. There is an item that'll let you go faster. Like the equivalent to the bicycle from Yume Nikki. I just haven't found it yet. But once I do, oh, I'm gonna be so happy.
looks like we're walking in sewage now. Oh, I think I remember this. There was a... Like, another secret. Another, like, special scene. But, I don't remember how to trigger it. Has to do with that slime. Entryway, I know. that way. Zabiski! Uh, and there's blood on our computer! Those special events that you happen... Well, it can have effects in the real world. Like that blood. What the heck happened? I don't know. Personally, I think they're the equivalent to nightmares. Just... Zabiski being in the bloody room. And then dying. Looked like she was also bleeding. Crumpled into a mess. And she didn't want to go through that door, and also the red static. Makes you feel like there is something else at play. But these events and what they do to your room in the real world, they're cosmetic, as far as I know. Like, just cosmetic. But it still makes you worry. Also makes you wonder about the doors that she can't go into. I mean, if you're a lucid dreamer, and you really have control of your dreams, I mean, that shouldn't stop you. Like, the only reason you can't go to these areas, even if you had the power to do so, is because you don't want to. The question is, why don't you want to? Why doesn't Zabitsky want to?
There's something there you don't want to see. Don't want to remember. What are you afraid of, Zabitsky? Seen those heart monitors in the room with vines. Oh sure, let's follow the blood. Because that worked well in Final Fantasy 7. changing. Aha, it is a maze. <laughs> now we're tripping. You wait. Or wait, no, there's more than one of you. Just add some ones and zeros, and I'd say we'd be in the matrix. There's gotta be something in here. Being a little bit disoriented with the background. It's like, you have a top layer and a bottom layer of the same pattern, but they aren't completely aligned, so... As a result, you're just feeling dizzy, feeling weird. Like, they look almost big enough to be doorways. Except, nope, not really. Oh, oh, here we go! Okay, this is even 
freakier. It reminds me of a petri dish. And just the way they pulse, too. did see her, but there was a character that looked like that in Yume Nikki. It was in an area that I wasn't able to get to. Let's see. And I can teleport back! This is just like that. The eye palm. Effect. Okay, I'm starting to remember some things, or at least one pathway. about themes. You made Nikki, there were those uh murals. But it seems like this time it's just blood. Things that have to do with hospitals, maybe. Oh, I could just walk off the path. Not confined to it like I thought it was. Probably something off the path. I was expecting that to chomp me. I can walk onto the red. doing here, I don't know. 
And it's making the girls freak out and move away. Except for this one. Chair? That's a chair. Very visceral chair. this area one bit red and fleshy it makes me think back to that one area in fear and hunger it's just all of a sudden just one just one hallway is just a visceral mess Demons! And these things... supposed to be invisible and they still see me and they can take away my effects ghost doesn't work with them they are everywhere And it doesn't help that some of these visceral things looks like a a Hydra Sabitsky. getting deeper and deeper into something we should not be seeing. But there's gotta be something here. And they can suddenly move faster. Yeah, those red things look like demons. Or flesh monsters. Meat monsters. I would not be surprised if they were meat monsters. is big too
Well, we're out of there now. No, I go back in. This almost reminds me of uh, Petri Dish World. just have a hole here. There is literally no... There's no loop around this time. Don't think I can do anything with this hole. But I could probably whack this person. <laughs> and now they're back! I think that was a bad thing. your intestines! <laughs> oh sure, just rummage around with your intestines, why not? Think that might be it. For like, as far as what we can find here. Also seems to be a good place to stop. So next time on Let's Play Dot Flow, maybe you can find some areas that aren't so disturbing. Because yeah, this is pretty much the horror version of Yume Nikki. As unnerving as it is, I actually like it. But until next time, this is Nazo signing off.